Hello, I'm DC Creative Studios and I'm going to show you how to make a stop motion through Windows Movie Maker on the Windows 7 computer. First, open up Windows Movie Maker. It may take a while, depending on the speed of your RAM. Okay, this is what it should open up at its like. First, now we need to get some videos. You can either import from device or you can go to your folders. and drag it from there. Now I'm not going to select all these because my computer's just a bit slow. So it may take a bit. Now you got to drag them over. Once that's done, you should have it like this. Now, as you can see, there's not really going to be much of a stop motion if it's going five seconds for each one, knowing this is going to be really slow. So I won't go through all that. So, what you do is you go back to the first, then you press Control A. Now that selects them all. As you can see, they're all highlighted. So once you've done that, you go to Video Tools up here, and you go to Edit. Then you go to duration. It's five seconds for every single one. But we gotta change it really fast. So you go zero point one two five. That's eight frames per second. Which is a good starting point for everyone. You can mess around with it later. As you can see, every single one goes off. Now, depending on your computer's RAM and memory and all that, it will show. It will depend on how fast it will freeze and all that, which is not really the best thing. So you go back up to the top, and you go to Home, then you go to Title. Now we have a title. This is also going to last for five seconds, which is a good start out. Enter your text here. So I'm building a hawk from Halo Wars, so I type in hawk. So it'd be Hulk by DC Creative Studios, but I'm just writing this for everyone. It's going to be multi-usual, so everyone can use it. So once that's done, you see these up here? What they are is they show you effects. You just drag your mouse over them and they'll show you what they do. So once we've gotten that, Choose your favourite. Personally, I like the one that makes it go larger. Choose that one. Usually, just make it at five seconds. If you've got a really long starting, most people won't like it. So, once you've done that, as you can see, everything just keeps piling onto this thing. It says it's stop motion because it just keeps going and it looks like a movie. But I didn't have a tripod at this point, so it didn't really look really much of it. So then you go back up here and then you go credits. So pretty much it's just like that. Insert name here and it'll be DC Creative Studios. Also try not to make your credits too long as well. You can add what you used in here as well. Um yeah, so that's pretty much it. There's your thing, you can also change this as well. Usually the best for credits is when it goes up. Also, you can change the text on these as well, from Arial to whatever you want. Size, color, boldness, italic, anything. So, once we've done that, we go up to here. And then we press Save Project. And we go Save Project As because that will guarantee us that it will be saving into a folder. And you get set project, could just save anywhere, so.
Once it's done that, you gotta wait for it to load. When it loads. Okay, here we go. Now the best choice is to save it in the same folder that it was put into. So I'm going to save this as Hawk, as you can see written down there. And there we go. You can always go back to it and remake it if you want to. This is just a sample, so I'm not really going to keep this. Here you go, high definition 1080p. It will enhance all the images there and it'll make them 1080p. A states keep with Hawk, so there we go. Now, saving the movie might take a while depending on your RAM or memory, so. Okay, it's finished loading. Now it's gonna pop up at the screen in about a few seconds. Now it'll say the movie hawk.wmv is complete. Now it'll say play, open folder or close. The best choice is to play. So then you can see how it's going on. Here we go. As you can see, there we go. Just keeps piling on and on. That's a stop motion. Credits. There we go, done. And that is the tutorial of how to put, uh, how to make a stop motion. Next video, I'll show you how to do it on a Mac.